right, so we are back here at the Dragon's Lair. Took a little hiatus. Seems to happen more often than not. But today we are going to train chest and biceps. We're going to warm up probably with some chest cable chest flies. No sets to failure, just get the blood in there, get loose. And I uh, have been starting with incline uh, Smith for a while, but I'm going to switch it up and start with incline dumbbell. be my new pre-workout variant. So like I said, we're gonna do a couple warm-ups here. I actually will come back to this exercise and do working sets, but I just wanna get loose, get some blood flow, and then we'll see what we can do on incline dumbbell. Now the fun begins. So yeah, I am taking a little longer rest periods a little bit, just because I've gone back to a, a four day split, um, which is more Duran Yates style approach. So I am doing um, you know, the RP style method per se, um, but I'm just gonna go back to also training the way I like to train. So we're still gonna keep it, you know, whole full range of motion, all that fun stuff, but we're just gonna train till failure because that's what I like. Four days a week, I feel like that's all I need right now. Just longer rest periods, one, two sets, move on. pretty light to be expected um, I was 90 so we'll go to 110s next see how that feels partials so now we'll do a lighter set try and hit like 10 12 probably do hundreds maybe i don't feel you get the most out of your set when you move too fast and you're still out of breath i want to hit a good 12 15 so we'll see We got 12 there, three nice little partials. Now we'll move on to a 
flat press. Set again. I'll stay there. I'll probably turn this into a rest pause. Now we'll do a incline uh, dumbbell fly. Makes a huge difference. Yeah. We got pump. Finish our chest, we'll do cable fly now. I'm still used to taking a little longer rest periods, but it has been beneficial. I have noticed more growth at a faster rate, and also my pumps have been bigger too.
traction was good, and I failed pretty much where I wanted to, so I don't need to go up and wait and sacrifice for him. Cruiser cars are like my favorite, so I got the prime one over there that we'll do. What's cool about that one is you can load it in different resistance, so I kind of like to load it in the middle and lengthening part to make it harder in the stretch, because that's where you grow the most. I feel like they keep higher up range, no less than 12, and no more than like 15. I mean, if I do 20, I'm not gonna cry about it, but no more than 15, no less than 10. That's another thing. During the eight, you know, I can see I'm doing this style of training, right? But you kept the reps very low, six, eight. That works for me in some exercises, but most of the time, anywhere from 10, 12 is my, uh, rep range to get the most, I believe, out of it, pump, or I believe I get the most growth. Everyone's different, but find what exercises work best for you, what rep ranges work best for you, and just capitalize on that. It don't matter if you're training four days, five days, three days, it's whatever works best for you. set just so I get a better uh, contraction within the set that was heavy but I got good contraction but the end got a little sloppy so if I'm not happy with it I'll just do another set
also found what's been helping with me as far as like pumping stuff. Sometimes I'll do like a top set of an exercise, but then I'll do a back off to where I won't stop till I hit 20 reps. And I haven't felt like that like hindered recovery so much of anything, but just allowed to keep going and get like a really massive pump. And stay leaner too, I guess. You know? Fuck. Ten solid reps there. Last two a little sloppy. So let's go a little lighter on the next set. Probably twenties. I feel like a bitch saying twenties. So he took the twenties. He's gonna be really upset. This day in particular, I like to do just one shoulder exercise as well. So uh, some sort of side lateral. So I'll probably use the side lateral machine. Pause. 20 push. Shit.
All right, so that was what today's chest and biceps will touch up on shoulders as well, uh, looks like. And like I said, it's a four, it's a four way split right now. Um, I am able to start training light legs a little bit. Um, so I don't go crazy heavy. Just try to keep the form real strict. It's very slow negatives for the quads anyway. Um, hamstrings, not really uh, doing anything crazy. Just some light um, line leg curls. Just to get some blood flow, nothing overbearing at all. Um, there's still some slight inflammation. Um, no bruising, bruising's gone. But um, they're still like, it's still kind of fresh, you know. It's, it's pulling. There's no pain, but it pulls. So like, it's just not worth, you know, trying to get right back into it anytime soon right now. Um, but luckily, I do feel like muscle memory is a beautiful thing, especially for me. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too down, too stressed about it. Um, I do train this hamstring, at least. I do that one single leg for the most part. Um, but quads, you know, I, I'm able to do, do some decent stuff with it, but nothing crazy. So um, that's, like I said, that's the four-way split. You know, I do like a Monday, Tuesday, off Wednesday, uh, Thursday and Friday, and I take off weekends. Sometimes I might take off Friday and then train a little, some legs on Saturday. I take off Sunday, just kind of depends um, what the week looks like for that. But this is what I've been doing. I feel like it's been working. Um, I'm not overly taxing the body throughout the week. My workouts are very um, intense, I would say, as far as you know the set itself. I am taking longer rest periods, like I said, but I think it's benefiting. But as far as being able to contract the muscle a lot harder, stay with the heavy weight a little longer as well. Um, so yeah, we're good. I mean, I'm only I'm up 15 pounds now since the Olympia. Um, when I left to come back here from Orlando, I was like 254, 255-ish. Um, I'm like 269, 270 in the morning right now. So, which is fine. I think we're what, like seven, eight weeks close, right? At least, most. Yeah, so we'll just round it. Almost eight weeks of 15 pounds. I mean, that's really fucking good to be honest. And I'm happy with it. We're holding really good conditioning. Um, and that's, that's the goal I want to be. I mean, obviously, you know, I do want to grow in certain areas, so I am going to accumulate some body fat. It's normal. It is what it is. Um, I don't worry about that too much. As long as I don't look like a fat fuck, then that's, that's unprofessional. Um, but yeah, we're doing good. We're having fun. Training's been great. Um, we got lots of traveling coming up. Um, so... That's it, and we'll see you for the next one. I'm gonna try and be very consistent more with this. Um, I know you guys like this shit. I like to do it for you guys as well. I do think it's fun. So yeah, we're gonna get back into it. Bye-bye now.